Hey to you. I want to welcome you to another episode of How I Animate in Clip Studio Paint. Okay, welcome back to the channel. Now this is part two of my process of animation and what I've learned, and I hope that I can pass this down to you. If you haven't seen part one, go to part one, go there first. The link will be here, right here in the video or in the description. Go there first, stop skipping steps, okay? And all timestamps will be in the description below. Okay, so what we're gonna do is go straight into the next step of my process. Step eight, re-record your audio. That audio that I had you record before on your cell phone or whatever, re-record it. Hopefully you can do it at a better quality. If not, just re-record it because what's gonna happen is when you go through your animatic, you're gonna see flaws in your recording and you're gonna see where you can make the emotion or the feeling or enhance the animation with your audio. So you wanna redo it and do it better than you did before because you were just testing it out before. Look, I know this process can be tedious, but I want you to stick with me until the end and trust that you'll be so much more satisfied with your project at the end of the day. Step nine, you wanna ink and color your animations. Just the animations, not the background, just the animations. And this is gonna start bringing everything to life. What you envision, you're gonna really enjoy this because you're seeing it all come to life. Now bring that back out into that animatic that you created before and you'll see this stuff starting to flow. Not your backgrounds, just the animations. See, they're on two different levels. Step 10, now you can start inking your background. And the great thing about this, after you're done inking your background, that's it's a reason why I haven't said color yet. After you start inking your background, you can play your animations over the top of your background. Because you've inked your animation and colored your animation, you won't see through the animation. You'll just see your animation in the environment that you wanted for that animation. And this is actually gonna accelerate you completing your animation even faster because you're really gonna enjoy this part of the process of inking the background and then seeing your animation play over the top of it. Step 11, test out your animations over your backgrounds. Those things that you just inked, those backgrounds, test those animations out. Make sure they fit in those scenes. That way you don't start coloring the background and then see that, oh, wait a minute, this animation doesn't even fit right. And you can go back and make those adjustments. So keep testing out your animations in the backgrounds that you just inked, just to make sure. Now, I'm pretty sure you tested it when you were uh, doing uh, the animatics, but just do it anyway, just to double check. Step 12, color your background. Take care of those basic colors right now. We want to do just the flats. We're not trying to uh, render it out. We're going to save that for a little bit later. So go ahead, color your background. Make sure you get all of the flat colors that you want your background elements to have. Step 13, render out your background and your animation. Now you can add the atmosphere that you want to make it feel like your animation is fully inside of that project. These colors may offset each other and they may look out of place. But when you start rendering this, putting in lighting, you know, shading, all of that good stuff, keep it basic, but you want it to feel like it's in the same background, same environment. So go ahead and start rendering those two things. Step 14, that's as special effects, sound effects, and music. When it comes to special effects, that can be a little bit hard to find some stock stuff. So you can create your own and Clip Studio Paint has a lot of things that you can do to make your own special effects. You add sound effects, of course, to enhance the actions that your animations are doing. And that's another thing that you could just record with your phone, like a slap of your hands or something like that. But the music um, is something that sets the scene for your viewer. You can get background music from a bunch of websites. One that's free is freesound.org. The music doesn't need to be loud or anything like that. You want it low and in the background, but I think it's looked over a lot when it comes to things like anime and all these other animations that we look at. But that's the final step. You get that, you're done done. Look, there are so many other things that I could add to this list, but this is to simplify it for a one man crew or one woman crew, whatever you are. Look, when you have a full on crew, 
I mean, you got between animators, you got people that specifically for the backgrounds. It's, it's a lot, okay? And then you gotta go over it and over it and over it again, and you're passing it to other people so different eyes can see it. And it, then you got different people with different specialties. It's just a lot, okay? But that's enough for this video. I hope that you got something out of this process. Try my process out. See if you like it. See if it helps you with your process. But as always, anime life forever.